Hi, how are you? It's Trapson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. Last episode, we did some Nightmare Dungeons and leveled our glyphs. And today, we are going to continue doing that. But first, I want to craft some elixirs. We ran out of weak iron barb elixirs. So, we'll make like five uh, of these. Good batch there. Yeah, nice, nice batch right there. All right, so let's do the Dungeon Immortal Emanation, Tier 23. We have Poisonous Evade, Blood Blister, Monster Cool Damage, Monster Lifesteal, and Potion Breakers. Dungeon's pretty good. I like this one. Now, I'm not too sure what to do next with Glyph Leveling. We are going to, to get a new glyph soon called Combat in our Paragon Tree. I'm probably going to wait to level that up. I guess we'll just keep leveling up Exploit. Or maybe we'll list, I don't know, just level up both of them at the same time, the ones that we have active. All right, so let's use a uh, consumable there. Oh, need more time. That's a pretty good dungeon. Fight big packs of vampires and spirits. Especially at these, like, big blood pools over here. Need more time. Let's head down this way. Potion off the kite a little bit. Don't watch out here. Graphics that interrupts your potion can be pretty scary, especially if you're, you don't notice it. We got Horfrost Demise. That's another pretty good dungeon. Maybe we'll do that after this one. I need more time. There's big packs of spirits in this dungeon. That's what makes it so good. Put a lot of XP in here. Oh, 
I, uh, so one thing I do in this game, because you move your mouse so much, and I play on windowed mode, sometimes my, my mouse goes off screen, and, uh, I, like, mess with my, my broadcasting software. I use a software called, um, OB OBS, Open Broadcast Software. I think most people use that whenever they're, like, making videos or streaming. And sometimes I, like, drag stuff from the OBS or, like, t touch buttons by accident because I'm, like, moving my mouse around so fast. And I just did that. I actually dragged something off there. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't mess with the video. It seems like everything's working out as well. Yeah, it makes me think maybe I should be playing in, like, full-screen mode. I do like windowed mode, though. It's nice being able to just dash over to another monitor quick. That really changed the game, though, with computers, or, like, just gaming in general. Like the second monitor. <laughs> that was a game changer for me. I don't know if I could like, record videos without it. Like, if you just record videos to a single monitor, you don't really know what's going on with your broadcasting software. Is your main, uh, you know, screen would be, you know, the game, right? And then your broadcasting software would be behind that. So we have to go this way, yeah. So travel to the... Eternal Bond. Yeah, that's enough about <laughs> broadcasting software. I don't know, maybe you get some of you guys are interested in that stuff. So we got another Paragon point. We'll go into Dexterity. I'm going to make our way up. We have to find these levers. I need more time.
get off to the boss. Hopefully get a good legendary. The Blood Bishop. This one really only has one scary mechanic. That's when he like grips you. You don't have anything to get out of that right here. Just get completely stunned. Nice horse. We got an ancestral helm there. Nice. Oh. That almost blew up in our face. Alright, so let's level up uh we'll level up control here, we'll get that to seven. There we go. Alright, so let's uh head back. And we'll check out the loot that we got. I think we'll keep on um salvaging our gear. I always forget the word for that. Because we're doing okay on gold, and I think we still need more silver ore. Nope. Let's check out these boots. Not the greatest stats on them. And we don't really want the aspect. Ah, oh, condemnation. Awesome, dude. Terrible roll on the <laughs> Damn it. Terrible roll on the on the aspect though. It's gotta be better than the one we got though. Uh, this is a 691 item power. This one's 756. Um I really like the aspect on it though. Your core skills deal 22% increased damage and spending three combo points. Your basic skills using this weapon have a 30% chance to generate three combo points. And uh, the other one we had was perfect aspect, 40%. That's why I kept it. I think we'll swap to this one, though. So that's good. We got an upgrade today, guys. Uh, this aspect, don't really, eh, don't really like it. And this helmet. Not bad, but doesn't have what we want. What's left? All right, so let's get this, uh, this weapon upgrade. Let's compare the two, though. First. So I assume after we, uh, our core skill damage is up by 1%. That's going to go up by quite a bit after we upgrade it. Really got a low roll with the damage with dual wield weapons. Like the lowest you could get. It's pretty sad. And then critical strike chance against injured enemies. It's a decent roll. And then basic skill attack speed was perfect. That's good. Yeah, let's check this out. Let's level it up. We're going to wear it. Why not? It's an upgrade. All right, let's put it on. Let's check it out now after the upgrades. Still less, even after all those upgrades. Our core skill damage is going to be going up by 8.3%. Our basic skill attack speed is up by 4.9%. Damage per second is up by 240. Pretty good. And we also have 30% damage to close enemies. There's like an extra stat up there. Like That's so good. I think it's an awesome dagger. It's like meant for this build. Too bad we got a low roll on the aspect. Hopefully we run into some more of these. Can't use that. Okay, just get a socket in there. And then we'll unsocket this. Perfect. There we go. So that's a big boost to our attack power, guys. 
attack power went up by like 600 plus. We'll just say 600. Big damage increase. Um, what we'll do with this? I think we'll just get rid of it. And then I'm going to get rid of the gems while we're here. That was good. Now we're just really looking for a neck, right? And then we'll be full full ancestral. Yeah, that's awesome. We're almost there, guys. All right, so let's get rid of this. Boom. Decent amount of materials back from that. And what do we want to do now? Horfrost Demise, tier 24. Let's do it. That's a big boost to attack power right there. Maybe we waited a little too long to swap the weapon. But I don't know, I really like that aspect. Forty percent increased core skill damage after like using uh three three combo points, I believe. Yeah. You're spending three combo points all the time with that dagger, because even if you hit uh, a mob once, there's a chance that you get three combo points. Another one? Double artillery shrine, that's wild. Destroyed the corrupted shrine, it got completely wrecked. Need more time. Oh, I've never done that before. This one's kinda new. I really hope they keep increasing the XP gain. I have a feeling something's going to happen in World Tier 2. Because they probably have so much data now. About like what players like and like, I don't know, when players start to fall off. Like I'm telling you, the game is awesome. From like... Zero to... to, to, to I'd say... Like 65 to 70. Because there's always something close, like upcoming, that you're going to have to fight. And, and like, what I mean by that is the capstone dungeon bosses. I, just, I know I've said this probably a million times, but I, they really need to add something. They either need to speed up 70 to 100, which, are, which they are doing, by giving us, like, only. It's only 15% increased experience, which isn't too much. I think they can increase that by a bit, but they can either got to speed up, you know, 70 to 100, I think, 
Or like add another capstone boss. And then like a new world tier. From like 85 to 100. And I don't even think they have to like increase the like increase they don't have to increase um the, the item quality. Like we don't have to go from like ancestral to you know, like a new item tier that's better, like called like awesome or something like awesome gear i don't know but i think just a, a, a boss dun a dungeon with a hard boss is pretty it's always pretty fun to do even if the reward to the next world tier is, is like just xp like people would still do it like people would they would want to you know do that capstone dungeon. They can make it like XP and like increased legendary drop rate. And legendary drop rate doesn't have to be like that it's significant. My favorite dungeons are the capstone dungeons. It's just cool having to like prepare for them. Another one here. Crazy spot over here. I need more time. Okay, so we ran all the way through there. Now we just have to travel to the Flesh Cavern. I like the bosses that they're adding to Endgame, though. That's going to be awesome in Season 2. Try to target for them, like, you know, unique that you want to get. And I think it's going to introduce, like, those, like, really rare uniques that are, like, insanely overpowered that you just never see. Honestly, like, forgot about them because <laughs> because they're they, you know you don't, no one ever talks about them because you probably no one ever gets them. All right, so let's uh, we leveled up our glyphs, right? Yeah, trolls now leveled up. And we'll head out of here, check out the loot, see what we got. Heck is that? Why is it showing me the other ring we have? You can take what's left. So weird. Usually it doesn't do that. What will it be? It's cool that it does show the comparison. I guess I didn't. I usually never did that before. I don't think, right? Ancestral amulet. Let's keep start looking at those. Ah, it's uh, ah, perfect on the. Keep that. Why not? It's, it's got a, it's the first ancestral perfect aspect. Mother's embrace we've gotten. 
seven 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 um item power as well which is pretty good who knows maybe we'll use it maybe not probably would be this one we would replace Lower lucky hit chance on it. But it would probably have a higher lucky hit chance had we upgraded it. I don't have to keep thinking about it. It's a good ring. Put it in the stash for now. Not bad boots, but... Not good enough. Let's put salvage. Ah, piss of fate. A lot of lucky hit on those. I think we already have. I don't know if we have one of those, do we? We'll hold on to that. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Came apart nicely. Another one of these uh, aspects. We'll hold on to that. And Penitent Greaves. Ooh. These are much better than our other ones. I wonder how how the heck do we have lower stats on it? Crowd control duration. Pretty low roll on that. Cold resist. It's item power 812. That's insanely high. There's more armor on it. Movement speed is 4.2% is lower. That had a bad roll on the movement speed, too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll upgrade it. That's actually probably an upgrade. A lot of cool loot here from that dungeon. Back if you need work. So we'll probably use these greaves. I like them. The aspect's completely the same. Growth at 7%. So we'll upgrade these fully. And let's see. 1.5% increased movement speed, 6.2% increased slow duration reduction, and uh, 31 increased armor. It's I'd say it's overall and it, it's overall better. But uh, you would expect it to be so much higher with the item power. I just I guess we just had bad rolls. Our rolls were just bad on the stats. It's too bad. All right, so let's uh, put this stuff away. A lot of good loot there. More frost demise. Put all this uh, here. There's our other fists of fate. These ones are higher item power. We'll put this here with all of our other good aspects that we like. All right, so what's another dungeon that we want to do? What are the new ones we got? Grand's Hold, Halls of the Damned. Do Grand's Hold, why not? Lightning damage with Lightning, lightning Storm. We'll do a Lightning Storm one, why not? A lot of lightning in this one. Monster bleed damage, monster burning resist, barrier breakers. Right, here we go. Off to Garan's hold. Our movement speed's up by a little 1%. Probably won't be too noticeable. Need 
more time. I think we can kind of ignore the lighting storm. Got a lower level, like, this is only level 77. I think we can ignore it. It's not going to be too well. Make sure we're full health when we take the hit like that. Just completely ignore the mechanics. Need more time. Idols are. We got an Estrava Deepwood sigil. Our first title. Right, so let's upgrade our Paragon here. We got five strengths. This will start going this way. Place is pretty big. Grand's hold. If you pre use your potion before the lightning goes off, your potion will just heal through most of the damage there.
All right, travel to the halls of Cinder. Right, so I think we did it the right way. That was like the best idol to finish at the end because we were right in front of the halls of Cinder. Try to remember that. Go down here first. And make our way up. Slay Keeper Zorlin and collect the Grand's key. I think just in this one over here. Alright, we got the key. Now we just have to go to the chamber door. Wherever that is. <laughs> Sometimes my character feels like he's moving so fast it's like almost kind of hard to pick up a loop. It's like one downside to movement speed, I guess. Character's really twitchy. When he's uh, got a lot of movement speed. They got deleted. Right, shifting city, not bad. We'll keep. I'll do the exploit here. Here we go. We got level eight exploit now. And let's head back and see what we got. Lightning Storm isn't too bad. You can ignore it for the most part. That higher levels, though, I think you can because there's probably just too much damage. Like if we were doing a tier Nightmare Dungeon tier like 10 levels higher, we wouldn't be able to handle that. Nothing. Mangler's Doom. Oh, it's got an aspect that is that we like, but the, the roll is a little bit too low. It's twenty five percent. Let's do that. <laughs> What's left, you ask? They're okay. Not that good. Yeah, it looks like we didn't really get any loot from that. That's fine. No big deal. Just gonna dump this stuff off here. Yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.